We are reminded today by Saint Paul that God loves us so much and he just can't compare this love of God. He says, who can be against us when God loves us? Who can overpower us? Who can separate us? Because this love of God is so much and so much. And he mentions all this. Well, hardship, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, sword, death. Whatever you name it and whatever ever you can imagine. Can anything of this separate us from the love of God? Can anything stop this God from loving us? He's saying this, this God loves us and this love is unstoppable. You see this example of God's love given in the gospel. Jesus, who goes about with miracles, wonders, and maybe Jesus was working there. And someone who was interested in Jesus, someone who wanted to protect him, maybe to take care of him, comes there and say to him, Herod wants to kill you. Go from here or protect yourself. And to this Jesus says, Go and tell that fox. And this fox is referred to Herod. Go and tell that fox that I am going to do this work of casting out demons and performing cures today and tomorrow. Now can you imagine this moment? Someone is working for you. And when this person is working for you, he has been instructed to take care of his life. That someone will kill him while working for you. And this person tells that instructor, I don't care. I want to help this person. Because that love is so much, that person is not worried of his life. That person is not worried of his death. And that is the way God loves us. It's not just to say that Jesus loved us. That's the way God loves each of us. No matter we are close to Him, no matter we reject Him, whether we believe in Him or whether we deny Him, God's love is just unstoppable. And it's been still further pointed out when Jesus laments over this Jerusalem. He says, this Jerusalem has been killing prophets, has been killing all the good people, and maybe is going to kill me. But that's not going to stop him. That's not going to stop his work. That's not going to stop his commitment and his love for humanity. Jesus' mission was to express this face of God's firm and unstoppable love. In our own lives, if this is the love of God, to whom should we be scared of? If this is the love of God, why should we ever give up on something? It's like I don't care. The hand of God is holding me. That I am being so protected by this God. That I am being so loved by this God. I don't care and I don't mind who will come against me. My God is just a powerful God. My God is that God who will never ever give up on me. And we need to have this conviction. We need to have this firm belief every now and then. So keep up this firmness and continue to grow in it.